is Christopher. And I'm the head of QA, uh, that's Quality Assurance. So I look after soft, general software quality and overall product quality. This is our flagship product, uh, the little girl who lost their name. In this particular example, we take the name of the child and transform it into a personalized story that culminates in the child getting to see their name in print at the end of the book. As a startup, we wanted to be agile and lean, uh, and obviously we needed a large development team to be able to release so many products. As we were researching what our best options were, uh, we discovered that to scale the QA team would have quadrupled costs, perhaps even more than that. One of the other things we just we talked about whilst we were investigating what our options were uh, was that how limiting it would be if we hired someone that specifically spoke English, for example, and we thought it might be useful to have more of a more of a sampling of the, the languages that we sell the books in and that the website is translated into. So that's something that Applause enabled us to do. Another thing we like doing here is testing on native devices. We only have access to a limited number of test devices, say around 20 at the moment. By using Applause, um, we're, we have access to a pool of devices that all of your testers have access to. So we have access to older versions of Android, older versions of iOS, we getting started working with Applause, it was, it was really easy. Um, we worked closely with the project manager uh, who we were given, he was very friendly and always very helpful. Uh, we had a test team lead, someone to kind of look after the actual testing processes and review bugs for us and stuff as, as features were tested. We then internally started building up uh, testing guides and we provided those to, uh, to the project manager and he's able to use those as a, as a framework to build, um, build out test cycles. Usually on a daily basis, I'll talk to the project manager, make a request and say, I would like uh, to test feature X, I would like it in countries A, B and C. And within a couple of hours, that test is set up on the Applause platform. Over the Christmas period, when we had a bit of a break in our offices uh, uh, and stuff, we, we set up Applause with a number of user experience questions. A really good example of that was uh, the elderly. So we got a lot of grandparents that browse our site and want to make purchases for their grandchildren, because obviously that's uh, something that grandparents want to do. Uh, but what we didn't understand was how well uh, the elderly were getting on with our website and how clear things were to filling them in. We got the experience of a tester that understands software and that understands web development alongside the inexperience of, say, a 79-year-old you know, non-computer user, someone that doesn't own a smartphone. We, we learned quite a lot of useful things. Like we, We've always disliked our big red buttons, our big red call to action buttons, but the elderly seem to absolutely love them because it's very clear to them what they need to click on next. It's the big red button at the bottom of the page. Working with Applause has become absolutely indispensable. Uh, we've grown to rely on it in a way that I did, never thought we would do. I always feel comfortable that you guys are going to provide us with very focused answers on the questions that we have and the speed that you're able to produce such a, such a variety of answers and a variety of responses is startling on a, on a regular basis. It's, it's fantastic.